pick wave. I can't seem to manage a full, full hand sort of thing. So I, I grip the pick between finger and thumb and I wave with the other three fingers. I seem to do it a lot. I never know. It doesn't quite do a wave justice, but all right, Chris. But I do it nonetheless. Hey, hey everybody. Ah, Margaret, hello Margaret, how you doing? Margaret Glaspie is just waving and saying hi there. Everybody please go and listen to Margaret Glaspie's new album. Whew, it's very good. It's very good. Um, it's so new that I can't remember the names of my favorite songs on there. Um, there's a song called Killing What Keeps Us Alive that is profound, so go and listen to that. Uh, and all the rest of them. Margaret Glaspie's new album is brilliant. So go check it out. I'm just letting everyone arrive. This is good. We're communing. This community is uh, it's coming together. This is really cool. We are at... Where are we at? We're at live lesson number six. Hang on. I've got to put the pick down. There you go. We're at live, live lesson number six. Uh, we are, we're keeping, we're keeping it together amid all of this madness uh, and these difficult times. Uh, and it's very cool to see you all on here. Hello from all over the world. It's so cool, all these people from all over the world. Hi from Mexico. Hey Mexico, Chile is here. How am I doing? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. You know. I'm just out here washing my hands, social distancing, following following those rules because they they look like they are the ones that will 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 get us all better faster, which is uh, good to know. This is my this is my Gibson uh, J50. This is my Gibson J50 from the year 1964. Um, I signed a record deal some years ago. And I said to myself, it's, if it's okay, I said to myself, hey, congratulations, uh, let's celebrate. And I bought myself this guitar. Hello from Iran. Wow, Costa Rica. Um, hey, Costa Rica. I, I, I said congratulations to myself and I bought myself a guitar and it was this guitar and I went to a guitar shop down sort of in the south of England uh, and I tried all sorts of different stuff. But this one did it for me. So I came home with it on the train and played it forever, and I've written some songs on it. Hey Czech Republic, hey Brazil. Bangladesh, it's going on. Colombia, hey Colombia, hey South Africa, hey Canada. I gotta tune this guy. We're getting this wildly like warm weather. I'm gonna give you a weather report in London. So it makes guitars go weird. But that never, it never, it never fussed the Rolling Stones, so it doesn't have to fuss us either. All right, I'm getting close to it now. We've got a good chunk of people on here. A solid 2.4 thousand, I like it. New Jersey. Oh, originally from New Jersey. Peru are checking it out. Somebody thinks my hair looks great. That's always a lovely compliment. Andy Cortez just chiming in there representing Colombia. We like that. It's on the blind. There you go, he's coming in with the lyrics. Watch out. That will be that all will be revealed later on. But John knows what's going on. I'm gonna play you a song. This week on live lesson number six, we are exploring a song of mine. Oh, the label are in town. Hey Republic. Um, we are <laughs> we are exploring um, how to play a song of mine that I wrote a long time ago, actually. I wrote it a couple of years before. Uh, I even thought I was going to make a, uh, a, a first album, a debut album. Uh, and it took me a while to write this song. I remember the verse came to me quick. Uh, and then I probably waited another year before I decided on like what the chorus needed to be. Sometimes that's how long songs take. But a lot of the guitar playing, a lot of the guitar part, I, um, 
I, I kind of came up with all in that first sort of sitting and that first bit of writing the song. So I'm going to play you that now. I'm going to give it my best shot. I haven't sung for a few days uh, and there's some really high notes. So I'll, I'll deal with them the best way I can. Anyway, I'm going to play it for you now and then I'm going to break down how to play it. This one is called Scars. Setting off, it's time to go, the engine's running My mind is lost, we always knew this day was coming And now it's more frightening than it's ever gonna be We grow apart, I watch you on the red horizon Your lion's heart will protect you under stormy skies and I will always be listening for your laughter and your tears and as soon as I can hold you once again I won't let go of you I swear we live through scars this time and I have made a We can't leave us behind anymore Your hands are cold, your lips are turning blue, you're shaking and This fragile heart, so heavy in my chest is breaking mm -hmm. And in the dark, you try to make a payphone call to me You're miles away, you're breaking up, you're on your room And it's hard to see, I need an hour just to say hello But I can't make the truth of this work out for you or me And for all the pennies in your pocket We barely get a second just to speak We live through scars this time And I have made up my mind We can't leave us behind anymore We'll have to hurt for now Next time
There it is. That's Scars. Guitar went kind of out of tune. Messed up some notes. But it was live. It was live in the world and it was for you. And for the guitar players out there, or not, I'm going to show you how I play it. So, I'm back on... This is a J50. I, I wrote... Uh, well, I didn't write. I, I play this song live, usually on my red Epiphone Century, which is an old guitar um, that I've had for a long time and I've written a lot of songs on. And with both of those guitars, what I do, like I've talked to you before about, is I drop the strings. Um, I drop the tuning of the strings from E, A, D, G, B, E. I drop them down. Let me get this right. To D, G, C, F, A, D. So they drop uh, down a whole step, one whole tone. You tune them all down one whole tone. This is a tuner that clips on end of the guitar, like that. You turn it on, some lights come up, you twang the strings, and it tells you that's a D, that's a C. So you tune them down a whole step, whichever way you need to, and, uh, and then you work out, uh, and, and, then, and then you play, I'm gonna call the chords um, what they look like regardless of the sort of tuning, because we all know that that looks like a G, and that looks like a C, and that looks like a D. Even if the tuning's different, um, I'm just gonna call them like that, because that's what we all essentially are looking at. Um, so, we tune it down a whole step. You don't have to, you can play it in a higher key if you've got incredible pipes and can sing in a higher key, and I'm sure most of you have that. Um, so we got, I, I tune it down a step though, and uh, so it's essentially in the key of F, but it looks like G because that's just easier for us. Uh, and it's really simple, the chords are really straightforward. It starts off like this, the intro and the verse are kind of similar, so we start on a G chord. And I kind of break it up, I hit the low end of the strings, I hit the low strings and then the sort of mid-high, so I go low, middle, and then I do what is like a first inversion C chord. Here's a C, and then here's a C on the third and the fifth fret, and I play the B, G and D string, and then seventh fret on the uh, A string. So we go. And I play it like that. And then it's like an E minor chord. Seventh fret on the A string, eighth fret on the B string, and let everything else ring open. And then I go, on the low E, I go seven, A in terms of the frets. And I keep that B string, eighth fret, and that like makes for like my C chord. Again, it's a different version of it. So the verse goes, setting off time ago, the engine's running, my mind is lost. We always knew this day was coming, and now it's more. It's like that chord from Hold Back the River. Friday man, it's ever gonna be. So we do two rounds of that for the for the verse. Uh, forget the words. We go apart, I watch you on the red horizon. Your lion's heart will protect you under stormy skies. And I will always be listening for your laughter and your tears. And then this chord on the 8th fret here moves up to the 10th fret. Same shape, all those open strings as well. Soon as I can hold you once again. And it's kind of like acts as your D chord, your 5 chord, for the Nashville numbers people out there. Soon as I can hold you once again, I won't let go of you, I swear. Back down to 8th fret. And I just, we step, we're on the 8th fret, on the low E and on the B string, and then it's on the high E there. I'm hitting the 7th fret that kind of funky sort of C-shaped thing. Uh, and then we got the chorus, chorus one, which is only half as long as the other choruses, back to that G chord. And this is really simple, the chorus. The shapes are really simple. We live through scars this time. So it's G up to a C, and I hit the I hit the that B note on the A string. Oh, weird, sorry. That is I. So it goes like that, G. C chord with that passing note. I made up my mind. We can't leave us behind. That's a D chord, classic D chord, as far as the shape goes. Back to the C. Anymore. Back to the G. 
and I do all this fun stuff, which is where I play my G here with these fingers, and I do this sussy thing on the D and the B string. You can see how I'm doing there. So I go, I can't go without you anymore. Somebody gets it, C, D chord. I love that you've uh, clocked that one. So that's your verse and your chorus, and now we're gonna do it all again. I'll do it kind of fast this time so we can get through to the bridge, because the bridge is busy. Uh, verse two. Your hands are cold, your lips are turning blue, you're shaking. There's that first inversion C chord. Your lips are turning blue, you're shaking. It's a fragile heart, so heavy in my chest is breaking. And in the dark, you try to make a payphone call to me. But you're miles away, you're breaking up, you're on your own. It's hard to take. I need an hour just to say hello I can't make the truth of this work out for you and me Hans Soms asks a question Do you only strum from the bottom string you are holding? Does my question make sense? Yeah, basically yes is the answer uh, and Do I hit all the strings on that note? On most of these chords I'm hitting all the strings um, what you've got to recognize, I guess, as you get into this is that sometimes my finger is muting like the A string, so you've got... Hear how that doesn't play? It's because this finger is muting it. It's fretting the low, low string, muting the next one. It's hitting the open D string, G string, and then the other, the, uh, uh, the B string that I'm fretting there as well. And then this finger is muting the high E. Sometimes that kind of helps out. Basically, you'll find out if any strings sound weird, you can probably mute them with a finger. Same there on that chord. Here's one pre-chorus two now. For all the pennies in your pocket, you bet we barely get a second just to speak. And then I let that, I fret that string and on the seventh fret and I open it up there on that last one. And then we got chorus two. Same as chorus one, just twice the length. We live through scars this time. I made up my mind. Can't go without you anymore. And we turn it around with a quick D chord and then back to the G. We'll have to hurt for now. Next time there's no doubt Cause I can't go without you anymore Alright, now it gets a bit wild, it gets a bit busy. I'm going to show you how to play this bridge. Or well, middle eight, depending on whatever you want to call it. I can't go without you anymore And it goes on the D chord. And then we land on the G. And this is where we're working less with the middle strings and more with the low and the high stuff. It goes. So let me break that down. I'm kind of staying away from hitting the A and the D string if I can help it, which obviously in this tuning are a G and a C because the whole guitar is dropped down a whole step. So we're going. Don't worry about the vocal, but that's what goes on over the top of this part. So it's all on the third fret on that G string, and I'm going, do, do. I'm letting the B string ring, it's cool. I'm letting the G string ring, that's fine. And I'm fretting, we're, we're, we're kind of hitting the bass notes on the low string, but we're focusing mainly on what's going on uh, on the top E string here. So I'm, run, I'm, I'm running from the third fret all the way up to the 10th fret. Tenth fret down to the eighth fret, and then we're going. We're jumping look with our thumb, and I do it with my thumb. I guess it takes a little bit of time to sort of work that out, uh, but you, so you can try and reach it with your fingers because we're hitting an open E string there. I'm going to show you my thumb as well, so you can really see uh, the notes I'm hitting. So we're leaving that open. I'm trying to show you the whole fretboard here. 
So it's 8th fret on the low E and it's 7th fret, well it's open and then 7th fret on the high E. Eight, 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 seven. And then we've got the open low E. So the third fret again, up to the tenth. And then that same thing. And then we're jumping onto the tenth fret on the low E. Which is like that chord that we had in the pre-chorus. So let's do that again. And then the second half of the bridge, we're doing the same sort of stuff, so just sort of keep an eye, follow along. It goes from that D chord, that five chord, to an open E for the second half of the bridge. Make sure you can see all of that. Watch out, we've got a fun move. 12, 10, uh, sorry, 12, 10, 7, as far as the frets and numbers go on the high E string. And then, basically trying to be like Johnny Buckland in all of this and try and be as cold play as I possibly can. So um, if, you, if I can't tell you how to do this, he'll, he'll, uh, he won't know this song, but he'll tell you how to play like this much better than I can. Oh wait, sorry, I got that wrong. So top of the second half of the bridge. We're back to the same chord that ended the first half of the bridge. And then we're back to the chorus. We live through scars this time. I have made up my mind. No, we can't leave us behind anymore. We'll have to. I'll just, so that's it, that's, that's the song, those are the parts. I just wanna sort of break this one thing down for you one more time. People play G chords like this with their middle finger on the third fret on the low E, first finger on uh, the second fret on the A string, and then either one of these two at the top, or you can just leave it open. Uh, leave the B string open if you want, or you can fret the B and the E on the third fret. Or you can bring this finger over to the low string there, keep this guy up top, and then on the D and the B string, you can get busy doing this, what's called a sus chord, like a suspended chord. You can do this fun suspension thing. And I spend my life doing that. I do that in Craving. Walking through the traffic on a Monday In the town I grew up Shelter from the rain in every doorway It's dark and everyone's numb I spent a whole time uh, in Craving doing that. Kids are making faces in the bus lane, but nobody looks up. Everyone's life the same as yesterday, just like the ticking of clocks. So it's one of my favorite things to do, is what I'm trying to tell you. And uh, everyone should check out doing it, because it's loads of fun. But that, basically, is how you play Scars. Um, I'm just trying to think if I've broken everything down and talked about all the stuff. I play it on an electric live, but a lot of the time I play this song on acoustic. I'm doing stuff on my own. This is, like I say, is a J50. I play a lot of Gibson J200s with a much bigger sort of bottom end to them. 
because um, I like I drop, I tune the guitars down so low. I like I like lots of bass from an acoustic guitar and lots of sort of mid range stuff too. Um, and it's all with a pick. I play I think I play all of this song with a pick. I use fairly heavy picks. Point seven zero. Um, I used to use really light picks. It doesn't matter. Use whatever you want. They're all they're all they'll all do the job one way or another. So yeah, this has been fun to see you all again. I guess at some point, once I've gone through all of these songs, I should play you like a little gig. Uh, I should play you a gig of all of these songs. Because um, although it might be fun for some of you to watch me uh, teach you how to play songs, you all just want me to do a show most of the time, I reckon. I get it. It's fine. <laughs> um, what else can I say to you? I hope you're safe. I hope you're all right. This lockdown, quarantine life can be intense. But it can also be all right. It might go on for a while yet. We don't know. Um, just be nice to each other. I'm sure you're all washing your hands. I'm sure you're all very, very socially uh, distancing one way or another. Um, but yeah, I hope you're all right in the midst of all of it. And I hope you're all exploring things that you can explore, trying something new, cooking new stuff, learning to paint, draw, be better at maths. I really need to do that. Um, learn to play an instrument whatever just hanging out uh it's we've got a distance but we've got to stay social so don't forget to do it and i will see you on friday to do another one of these um and in the meantime i'm sure there's all sorts of stuff popping up and i'm you know getting invited to do bits and pieces so there'll be more there will be more uh of me in on the internet i guess at some point soon until that time stay safe love each other and I will see you again. This has been a lot of fun. I'm just going to do the bit at the end of uh, the streams where the person streaming doesn't know what buttons they're pressing. But I love you all. Take it easy. See you later. <laughs>